I'm hoping to work. We are um, called the meeting to work about 45 or an hour. But if we can stand for the pleasure of meeting, we'll be able
matters who love to play. Are you guys ready? You guys, come right over here and you're walking out. This past July, we had Bo Gould and we had Maria Newcomb, our health teacher at the middle school, and we also had our, thank you, our former board member, Noah Shreed, that I think, were you in Minnesota, Minneapolis? Okay. okay. And for a national conference on Fuel Up to Play 60. So they're here today to talk about their experiences and what the conference focused on. So thank you both for being here. Physically 
active. Uh, when you were selected as a state bachelor, you get one visit from an NFL player. I hope to bring him to bad schools and run fun activities and give a motivational speech that will inspire him to friends. I also want to get an inflatable obstacle course in the pit of Morris High School. So during different periods of the day, students can come around the obstacle course for 10 to 15 minutes. This is a fun way to get students moving. It will help them throughout the day as well. Maybe get their blood flowing before they go and sit back down for hours at a time. Thank you everyone for letting me share my experience with you today. Please continue to support those with succeeding artists in my schools. Thank you. Okay, we'll go back to state. Any questions for Maria or for both? So if you're, um, first of all, congratulations. It sounds like you had an amazing time. And, and thanks for taking the time and for um, you know, being a inspiration to your other fellow students. So this started in middle school, but does it already exist in Morris or is it written into Morris? Um, no, she didn't. She brought it to Morris. She brought it to Morris, so you're like the second one to take over? Oh wow, that's a big responsibility. That's great. Okay. Just have a question. You know, I know that there was an initial grant. I don't know if this is to you or to open certain answer. It was an initial grant that was made to the district a couple of years ago. Right? And yes, that was, um, goodness, we know it was still in middle school, so five years ago. Was it that long? Four or five years ago, yeah. Okay. And then our school also received a grant, again, big kudos to Diana Hickson uh, for applying last year. We, a lot of that went towards um, promoting the second chance breakfast at BMS um, and uh, spreading the word. Uh, and a lot of signage that you see up in our cafeteria was from that grant. Thank you. Thank you. Do, do you, you know, we, we've heard a lot about food insecurity in the schools. You know, and it, it might not be the focus of, of Fuel of 60 specifically, but you're, as a health instructor, and certainly the boat is interested in, in food and food delivery. I mean, do you want to, can you offer any, any comment on, on whether, what, what, what's the extent of the problem that we, of that, of whether that problem sort of manifests itself in the RSU?
as you close, and just thank you very much, Diana. Thank you for bringing it to BMS. Maria, thank you for giving up your time this summer. And Bo, thank you for being part of this program and your leadership. Thank you. Okay, 10.0 committee reports, uh, 10.1, high school project. Yeah, I'll be brief. The straw poll, Steve already talked about, touched on the Department of Education. The next day was a unanimous vote by the State Board of Education to approve our project. And um, we're getting ready for the November referendum. So that's, uh, and we are doing some site work, continue to do some site work, some permitting that we have to do now before the snow hits the ground. But we should be on schedule for site work to begin this summer, and then construction of the building would happen in the spring of 19 and open doors in 2020. Um, and as Patrick alluded to, I mean, I think everyone has seen uh, uh, the schedule of presentations on the, on the school that are gonna be offered to each of the the towns over the next, over the next month or so, and uh, Patrick invited every uh, your board members to participate in, in meetings that are being conducted in your town, and, I, and I'd like to uh, to stress that as well. I mean, you have to remember you're the as a board, we are an important face of, of the RSU, and 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 um, hopefully are all strong advocates of of the uh, the Morse High Building. I hope, uh, I hope folks are able to make those town meetings. Um, Patrick said he tried to make most. Mom will be there to, to do the detailed presentation. Um, but it wouldn't, um, you know, it certainly is an opportunity for the board to, to get out there and speak on the importance of this project, or uh, as, as we perceive it, the importance of this project to, uh, to the education of our kids going forward. So, um, if you didn't, if you didn't get that email or, or if put put it in the trash since then, just uh, contact the office. I'm sure I'm sure a few of you will have it. Okay, ten point two curriculum assessment and instruction update. Now we're pleased to have Katie Joseph here. And we changed it a little bit from proficiency-based learning update to a little bit more of a broader base. And uh, Katie's been with us for, what, two months now? And it seems like she's been with us for a couple of years because she uh, brings a lot of energy, enthusiasm, and it's really hit the ground running here. And on that note, I want to say I fully support the inflatable obstacle course. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so a couple of topics that I'm going to review today. Um, first, I want to just say, um, felt so welcome so far by the community and so impressed by the leadership and expertise, especially among um, the teaching staff um, that I've seen. And so the first thing I want to hit upon is just that the professional development that's been going on so far um, has been essentially run almost entirely by our teachers, um, which I think is pretty incredible, us looking within ourselves for what um, the teachers are doing really well and having them um, share that with the people around them so we can really grow from within. Um, so just to give you a couple highlights on that, um, we had teachers working at the end of last year and over the summer on revising um, the new report card for grades uh, K to 5 um, for proficiency-based learning. And so those standard-based report cards are up and ready to go. We've had social workers and guidance counselors presenting on um, response to intervention, which is basically um, different ways of looking at supporting students both academically, but we're actually looking um, this year primarily at the behavior supports that we can put in um, to our classrooms to help our students across the board. And so we have teachers leading those, those initiatives. We also have our literacy trained teachers um, introducing the benchmark assessments, which are um, assessments that help us figure out what reading level our students are at um, in the lower grades so we're able to better support their academics. So those are just a couple of highlights of what our teachers are doing on those professional development days. Not only are they sitting and learning and implementing in their classrooms the next day, but they're actually teaching and leading their peers, which is really excellent. Um, 
I also wanted to highlight the technology because before I started, I know that um, you all made the big decision to go fully to Chromebooks, and I just wanted to say, as a new person, it, it seems like it's off to a really strong start with um, Dean Emerson and the rest of his crew holding a very successful summer institute with all the different classes that teachers um, and staff could come and take. Um, but he also um, had everyone recently take a survey to collect information about what the next topics are that we might like to learn for professional development. And from that, on October 6th, we'll be spending our professional development time, pre-K through eight, actually getting to choose different classes to learn about Chromebooks and the Google Suite and all the different new technologies that you've invested in um, as our board and our community. So that's really exciting work. Um, and from there, the high school will be doing a lot of their trainings during Late Start Wednesdays um, because the PBL, the proficiency-based learning work, does continue. Um, they're spending a lot of time working with Katie Thompson, who's the consultant that we work with. I'm sure you've heard of her before, from Judy before, who used to report on proficiency, um, from Grade Schools Partnership. And so they're continuing to build their assessments and rubrics um, and work to get all that aligned and ready for our proficiency-based diplomas. Um, and so they'll be doing a lot of the technology work on their late start Wednesdays. Um, and then finally, just really quickly, um, we have the new requirements around the evaluation tools that we need to be using for our teachers and administrators. And that's something that had been developed over, especially over this past year, um, and it's going to be one of the focuses of the um, administrative team and the steering committee for evaluation to look at the rubric we're using and the system we're using to streamline and line it um, a little bit more this year. So um, those meetings are upcoming, so I'll probably be sharing more on that at the next school board meeting. Um, and that's it, unless there are questions. Any questions for Katie? I am, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting, two of the things you noted, uh, RTI and the evaluation uh, system are part of the board goals for this year, so there's a nice, Maybe it's not happenstance, but there's a nice convergence between the things that, uh, that the district is working with, the professional staff in the district is working on, and, and what the board has uh, felt were key uh, issues to address this year. So, any other any other comments, questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, 11.0, Superintendent's report. I think the board, I have hard copies with me tonight, but I think I sent something out to you from Leslie Manning about fundraising, and so she gave you a synopsis of where she's at right now. But for those of you that don't know, we hired a consultant to work with us for three years to fundraise for the new high school. And so she gave a, a synopsis of that she's uh, approached two foundations at this point and also some corporate prospects. They actually are meeting right now with the fundraising committee um, and they are going to be expanding the fundraising committee and also be helping sell the uh, project and advertise the project for the November referendum as well. But we'll probably have Leslie come maybe every other month to the board to give a face-to-face uh, -face update since the board made that commitment. She also, uh, I also provided you with a one-pager, I think it was a double-sided one-pager, but it was uh, the, the, the board had asked for to be able to, uh, when you're talking to people about the new school, to refer to that. Other than that, just a quick update, open houses were very well attended. The flow trips are underway, and whoever gets to go this week is much better off than last week. Uh, Spirit Week at Morse, it's just impressive how involved the students get when you walk through the school. and. Uh, I had a hard time finding a parking space last Friday night when Morse beat my hair at uh, on homecoming. And just one last thing, the vocational house has finally sold and it should be going off a lot very soon. And the staff at BRCTC is working with Rotary to possibly do a new design, an expandable cape design for the next project for our students. That's it. Thanks, Thanks Patrick. Um, Patrick mentioned that, that one-page uh, piece that Leslie drafted on the 
project, and, and I hope people uh, have had a chance to look at that and, and can sort of carry it in your back pocket so that um, as, as people ask questions about the project, we're, we're all giving a consistent answer. I mean, that, that's just a, uh, kind of a concern that, that you have uh, people out in the community speaking differently or characterizing the project somewhat differently. So do, do uh, take a look at that piece. You don't really have to carry it in your back, in your back, project, uh, back pocket, but uh, do take a look and, and, um, uh, and, and you know, engage people. I mean, if people might not ask you about the project, but if there's an opportunity uh, to engage people in the community about it, you should take uh, take advantage of that. So. Okay, 12.0 old business, 12.1. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we just got through the good news. Now we get the bad news. It's not that. It's not that bad yet. Okay, 11.2 financial year just started. Uh, tonight we're looking at the month of August for year to date. And based upon the report that you're looking at, it's six percent that we've sp it's, um, have spent compared to 5.5 last year. So it's once again we we spend basically the same amount or the same percentage amount um, annually. We um, have received 5.4 million in revenue to date. Um, what you see for expenses are July and um, August contract employees. Um, that amount is reflected. In September, you'll start seeing the teacher contracts. Um, we've had basically 30 new staff members and 10 transfers, and our hiring is pretty much, um, I would say, it is complete, and we're within budget based upon those requirements. Any questions for Deb? Thank you, Deb. Uh, 11.3, fundraising requests. Is this just an informational item? You have a handout which uh, lists the uh, fundraising requests that, that, that we have. So that's just the informational piece for us, I guess. 12.0, old business. 12.1, approve uh, the 2017-18 board goals. Um, as, you, as you recall, at the beginning of uh, the meeting last, uh, last month, we met uh, and, and uh, talked through some goals and, and priorities that, that board members felt we should, we should address. This was uh, Patrick's attempt and, and my attempt to uh, articulate what that conversation was. Presented to you for approval as uh, hopefully as representative of what our discussion was in that workshop. Any questions? Um, modification, change, wording? Anybody want to word it? No? Mm -hmm. It was good. Hearing nothing? Okay. So I do, uh, I will take a motion to uh, approve. As the RSU one board goals for 2017-18. Well, then we approve that as presented, Mr. Chairman. Okay. I have a, a motion from Bill. I have a second. I'll second. Second from Lou. All in favor? All, all in favor? No. No one in opposition. So the goals are, the goals are adopted. Fun again. 13 all new business. Sure. Yeah, I just have one resignation. Uh, English is a second language. Uh, teacher part time resigns um, before the start of the school year, and we're uh, bringing to you Sarah DeRosa to fill that position, uh, that part time position. Okay, so we need a motion on 13.2. So moved to hire Sarah DeRocher. Uh, have a, a motion by Adam and a second. Second. Okay, 
Second. Second. All in favor? Any opposed? Motion carries. 13.3, uh, consideration uh, hiring a part-time finance clerk. Three years ago, we hired Deb Clark to be our business manager, and if you remember, Ruthie Moore was our business manager, so for my first three years here, we had both of them in the business office, which one could argue is bare bones um, for the district our size. We talked Deb into becoming our business manager after much nudging, and she's done a great job for us. But, and Vita has taken over some financial pieces as well. But I think the board, those of you that have been here for a little while, remember that we said we would keep a close eye on this. It did save the district money. Uh, we did keep in around 20 to 25,000 of that savings just to be proactive in case there ever came a time when we needed to have some help in the, in the business office. And so those of you that know Deb, um, you know, she works very hard. But she's finally come to me and said we could really use someone and really the focus is 10 to 12 hours uh, a week at the most uh, and it would be uh, obviously part-time year-round and the main focus would be on payroll but we also provided you with a job description uh, of other items that the person uh, would be focusing on as well so Deb did you want to add anything more to um, it's basically the backup payroll and
and I think that's a credit to Vita and to Deb and to Patrick, uh, the way they run the office. So I think, uh, for me, anyways, if they feel they need a, a couple more hours from someone to do that job, it, it certainly is money well spent. All in favor of the motion? Any opposition? No, no one opposed? Okay. Motion is approved. 13.4, approve the agreement for services between Dr. Hanna at Midcoast Pediatrics and the RSU. Uh, this is, uh, we've had a relationship with Dr. Hanna for several years at this point, and this is kind of a, it's become kind of a for profile thing. Do I have a motion to approve? No, I'll move to approve the motion. Uh, sure. Second by Bill. Uh, all in favor? Closed. Yeah. Okay. Is approved. Uh, Thirteen point five. Uh, we have an overnight field trip request from jobs uh, for Maine graduates to visit Pine Tree Camp in Rome. This is an action item. We have a motion to approve. So, motion by Bill. Second. Second from Megan. Okay. All in favor? Any opposed? No. Okay, the motion carries. Uh, okay, now we're back to detail. So 13.6 is the vote. Uh, we need to vote to call the referendum and to approve the warrants for the high school construction project. And this is an action item. So there, we're going we're to vote on the, uh, the language of the warrant. Well, the language language that will uh, call the referendum and the language of the warrant at the same time. So unless anyone vote, we'll just make that do do it hard one all together. Yeah, we'll do it all together. Do you think we need to read these? Yeah, okay, I think we should. Okay, I'm going to do that in the Okay. You want to read it? All right. So uh, these are votes to be adopted by the school board of regional school unit number one, Lower Kennebec Region School Unit, and began on September 25th, 2017. Voted at the warrant and notice of election of regional school unit one, Lower Kennebec Region School Unit, presented to the meeting be approved and that a referendum election for the RSU be called for November 7th, 2017 for the purpose of approving the issuance of bonds or notes of the RSU for school construction project purposes as described therein. Further voting that the notice of public hearing presented to the meeting be approved and that a public hearing on the issuance of bonds or notes for school construction project purposes be held on October 23rd, 2017 at 6 p.m. as provided therein. Okay, so that's the call for the referendum and um, the warrant itself. That's the call for the referendum and the public hearing. So and the public hearing. The public hearing. Okay. And we also have a copy of, of the warrant. Read and the warrant itself, which is the section. 
Let's make a motion to move, second by Allen. All in favor? Any opposed? No. Okay, so so we've uh, we've done that. Um, you all should be prepared to stay around after the meeting ends because we have multiple comments, right? Of, of the warrant that need to be signed before the for the for the times. That's because they all need to be posted, right? Yep. They all need, yeah, they all need um, signed copies. None of this can be zero on established. How many copies? 40 copies. 10 from each of the towns. So limber up your wrists. 13.7, um, uh, vote to call. We already did that. Okay, we did 13.6, we did 13.7. 14.0 uh, public session. This is our second public session. You know, anything that folks want to address the board about, it's appropriate at this time. Um, 15.0, we're, we're going to go into executive session again to discuss uh, a lease for a two anchor road in Bath. I don't think the executive session should take long. And when we come back, we will conduct business uh, again to, uh, to, or to take a, a motion on whether or not to approve that. Piece. So if you all want to stick around, we promise not to take too long. If not, thank you for coming. So do I have a motion to go into executive session? So move, Mr. Chairman. I'll second it. Okay. And you know, all in favor? Okay, we're going to executive session.